It's a vinyl eraser. It's an architecture. You can get it at all the places. Yeah, yeah. But it's fine. Yeah. And y'all sell those? Yeah, a few dollars. Yeah. But that is a vinyl eraser. <laughs> What are you going to be doing? I'm going to be doing a CA finish. Pass around look. Now, this one, when you're doing a CA finish, and, and I'm going to get into safety here in a minute, but when you're doing a CA finish on a vessel, you want the inside and the outside to be sealed. You're trying to keep as much expansion and contraction of the wood or the material to a minimum. And I'll show you. Is that, do you have an accelerator on that cloth? Yes, I have an accelerator on that cloth. Now, what I'll do usually is I'll start with 320 to 400 grit to, to knock any ridges off. Say it's level. It really doesn't matter. The areas you got to wash under your sanding are right here because you can burn through that really easy or sand through. And we don't want to do that. I'll work this edge and I'll work from here then. Checking out this morning, and some fellow was sitting there. And what I'm asking, he said, How come I didn't put my big wall hanging on the two for one raffle? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I'm just like any street walker you see on downtown. When I found out how much that stuff was worth, I stopped giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> You like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was original to me, but I borrowed the line. <laughs>
Sasha. It's a vinyl eraser. It's an art can't get it at all. Anyway, but it's fine. Yeah. And y'all sell that? Yeah, a few dollars. Yeah. But that is a vinyl eraser. What do I mean by evaporative finish? Think of an old pond out in the field that's extremely got full of muddy water. Come summertime, what happens? The water evaporates out of that muddy pond, and all that debris that was floating in the pond does what? Settles to the top of the floor of the pond. Hazel had one then. That's when she came down you know, here to visit mom and dad. Remember the second or third pole I brought was a McGrone? That I got it from the president of the. I made a pole. I gave it to my nephew for Christmas a couple of years ago. The world has got it. And uh, really the inspiration for this was my childhood. 
And so I saw these people making these little teapots. And I wanted to make a tea kettle that I remember as a kid sitting on everybody's stuff. And so that, that's what this is. So that's, that's the tea kettle that I remember as a child. So thank you very much. This wood tools, Texas Fur Drive receiving handle, this wood tools. Now, whoever wins this, or the number is called, you'll need to see me afterwards because that came in late and I'm going to have to ship it to you when I get back home. So come up and, uh, and see me later so I can get your name and address so I can ship this to you. But it's an easy chuck from Easy Wood Tools. Six zero nine five six zero.